Because when they start peeling walls back, that's when they start discovering stuff. And as you saw by the thumbnail, we discovered a few things yes. today. So we'll talk about a couple of issues that we had Big and still issues. have. Big issues. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Are we at the end or are we at the Hope you treat it's theme park Baza. This is Baza. Good morning, it's kicking off, isn't it? It's a Monday morning, we've got about 10 people outside, there's trucks everywhere. Welcome to the final renovation, which will be our master bathroom. Mm -hmm. So um, we're now at uh, 9.15 in the morning. On a Monday morning. On a Monday morning. So far we've had four plumbers turn up in two vans to disconnect yeah. everything and check the stuff. We've had the contractor here with four or five people to um, start the demo. He's just putting all this protection stuff down on the floor. We have a dumpster slash skip, as we would call it, arriving in probably in the next 15 minutes. We also have the people coming to finish off the patio doors in the next 15 minutes. How's it going, Max? <laughs> the stress levels have gone up already. So yeah, we knew this was coming. This is the last big hurrah before we kind of start finishing the house. Uh, we did get up to a few things at the weekend in preparation for this. So um, I'll just take you back now to the, uh, the work we did um, on Saturday and Sunday. So as you can see, we have spent all Sunday afternoon completely gutting our bedroom. Moved all the bedside tables, cleared everything off the bed. By the way, this Brooklyn bedding, this thing we got, it's pretty good. It's a good mattress, that. Cleared stuff from here, moved our storage areas. Covered up the um, covered up the drawers for our um, clothes. We've taken roughly a week's worth of supply out of here and put them into the spare room because um, we don't want to be able to come in here for about a week because that's when it'll first be dusty. So yeah, we've covered various things up. The um, all the curtains are down because we know they're going to get dusty. So we took the curtain rails and the curtains down, and then the bathroom itself, as you'll see, we've completely. This will all be gone. Probably by tomorrow evening, this will all be gone. So, uh, yeah, this is um, our last shower today in here. So, I don't think they can throw anything out the windows because all the because um, all the uh, pool stuff is down there, so they're going to have to carry it all down. When they do demo this tile, it will be dusty because that's just what happens when you're demoing stuff. So that's why we wanted to come in. They may cover things up as well and put, hopefully put some flooring covering on all these carpets, as you know, is going to go... Um, last job in the house. Out here in the hallway, I've just been up to the AC duct, and as you can see again, I have put the card up like I did last time. And this basically is the return to the AC. And because this is up there, it'll stop any dust going and getting sucked into the AC unit and messing up the cooling coils. So we'll keep that up here while it's dusty. Normally there's a filter goes in there, and I'll put a filter back in when we are done. These are the two vanities that you saw in the last vlog that are ready to uh, ready to be carried into the bathroom once um, everything else is in the garage apart from that. In here, we're using this just as this is the other spare room. We got the, the drawers just to make it lighter when we were moving those vanities. And the drawers are over here. And we've also, I mean, Trevor table is at the bottom. And we've also brought up like the taps, the shower, the fan, all the bits the electricians and the plumber will need. The things in the garage are still the bath, the toilet, and the tile is downstairs because he's going to cut it downstairs. So we have now moved into the spare bathroom and this was the plan of doing this bathroom first. There was logic behind our planning was to get this ready so we could live in here for probably about a month until everything's finished in the other bathroom. So we've just been moving in all our junk and filling up these cupboards. And then in the lodger guy's room, this is now becoming our bedroom for uh, the next month or so. So we've just been moving all our stuff in here and getting ready. And I say we've got about... Um, a week's worth of clothes in here ready to go and then we'll go back into the other bedroom um, at next weekend to get uh, fresh clothes because uh, hopefully most of the destruction will be done this week and the construction will begin next week so the uh, the acid level was a lot better the last time we uh, drained the pool but it was still a bit high so we took it for some water testing and they told us to uh, put a bit more acid in, a bit more salt, but we decided just to drain it a bit more again, just as you saw in the last vlog. Um, I think that's about enough of it here. But 
last time that much draining took us probably a day and a half because we had that little green hose now I've actually used that big hose I talked about last time. It's draining out there. This has gone, we were swimming in here five hours ago. Just saw stuff drain off there. So it's taken five hours to do what it took a day and a half to do, roughly a day and a half to do last time. I think that's far enough. We're gonna turn this off, start filling it again. So in another five hours, it's half four now. By the time we go to bed, it'll be filled back up again. So we will come out here. One of the things I was wondering is how do we control this if your phone's broken and you don't have access to the internet or you know you just don't have a phone so I was looking around how you do that and if you come into this aqualink panel here uh, this is where all the controls are and this is where you can turn all your modes on and off your air blower your heater um, you can you can toggle it between pool mode spa mode so these replicate all the functions that are in the app if you need to do it but I'll keep that locked for now so what I'm going to do is turn off the uh, turn off the pipe first, I think, so we don't get air in the system. So we'll turn off this and let it drain for a bit, and then I'll just go into the app. So we'll stop the pump, then we'll put all the valves back to have to how we want them. So I'm going to keep the um, the heater off for the moment because we're not going to put the heater on. So I'll leave that one in the off mode. Um, I'm going to turn this back because we turned the skimmer off so we didn't get air into the system. That one, I just set it on pool return, we want it 50-50. That didn't move, that didn't move, so we should be good. Then I just need to get the hose and drop the hose in. And then we should be good and I'll let this thing drain and then just coil it back up here. And we're going to get the hose again from over here. Um, the one that bypasses the uh, water water softener and we'll go and put some uh, put some water in okay the hose at the bottom so we will go about taking any kinks out of it first and then go and turn this back on again and then we'll turn the filter pump back on and uh, get everything going again so we should have a nice flow coming back into here now just check yes I can see it there yep going back into here so let's, uh, let's go turn the uh, pump back on with my phone and away we go. Right, and while they are doing all that, we need to get on with the follow on from the pool stuff and we need to get the chemicals back in again, the salt and the acid, acid, to get that balanced in the same time. Um, and later on in the vlog, as we go through this vlog, we'll show you the stages of destruction and then construction of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So if you are wondering how we know how to manage the pool, it's not that bad really. You take a water sample and you take it to a place. We go to Pinch a Penny and basically they do a, an analysis of it and give you, you know, all these are all the things that's on Maxine's test strip. And what they actually give you then is like what you need to do. And so on here they told us we needed to add salt. We needed to add so, some acid to it because we have high chlorine levels and high stabilization levels. So last night, as you saw, we dumped it out. Um, it, it was full before we went to bed, so we turned the hose off probably about 10.30 last night. Today we're going to put, um, I think they said two, two and a half bags of salt on here, but because we've emptied some more out, I think we'll put, we've got four bags. We'll put three in and some acid, and then we'll get it tested again, because you can always add more, but you can't take away without dumping. So we'll be doing that this morning while they're um, getting on with the destruction upstairs, and then uh, catch you in a bit. <coughs>
Right, that's three bags of salt in. Oh, they are busy working. Uh, the guy has come and put the trim back on the doors. The dumpster's been uh, delivered. So yeah, I think uh, we're making progress, aren't we, Mac? Slowly. Yeah, so on the plumbers have gone, but they did notice that the main water shut off to the house was broken. And so a picture here. So um, we're gonna, it's always the way when you do a project, you discover things that um, weren't planned. So yes, we, uh, we need to get that replaced as well, uh, in additional costs, but best to do, because uh, you need to turn water off, don't you? Yeah. <sighs> We're back. It's now ten past five. I just jumped off my calls all afternoon. Look a bit flustered, Max. Yeah? It's been a busy day. It's been a very busy day. And a noisy day. Well, it's been a busy bit. I've not done a lot, but it feels like I've done a lot. You're in stress, yeah. Been stressed and question after question after question. Well, like every five minutes I can hear, Maxine. 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 And that's a tip. If you're going to have this kind of work done, make sure you're there at the demo time. Because yeah. when they start peeling walls back, that's when they start discovering stuff. And as you saw by the thumbnail, we discovered a few things yes, today. Really? I didn't know, I don't know all of them because I was on calls, but we always say if you're doing a project like this, you need to budget kind of 20% contingency mm -hmm. for things that you find. Yeah. Um, let's go and show you what we found. So we're upstairs down. One thing is we've got bubble wrap all over the floor, haven't we? Feels like bubble wrap. It pops, Sounds like pops it. Pops when you're on it. Pops. To protect the floor. And then they put one of the vanities in here because um, we didn't have room to get all the junk out. So this is the end of day one. They've just finished day one, haven't they? Yeah, they've done really well. And they've still got a, a bit of uh, stuff around here that's gone. You're going to need to walk me through this, Max, and show me. But yeah, we'll... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, oh, I'm popping. Looks a bit different. It does. So I noticed he's got the board down already. Yep, that's what he went to Lowe's for to pick up. Okay. So and then over here... The wall's sorry, gone? Yep, yeah, there's what this all this frame's gone here. You can see out the top. And it's all gone. And the wall's... Our electrician's the next thing coming tomorrow because he's going to have to move these and replace light. that light with one of those lights and put another one in here to make it balance. Yeah. And that fan's going to come and out and mirrors. obviously move this. And rewire for the mirrors, yes, because those are coming out and we've bought some mirrors that are going to be um, uh, with the lights in them, I don't know what the word is. Now I noticed, I saw this at lunchtime, didn't you say there was some mould under there yeah, as well? Yeah, the toilet had been leaking and it was all mouldy around it as well. So what has he done about that? Um, they've, they've sprayed it all yeah. with bleach yeah. and let it dry. Yeah. Um, and then they've put like a coating on, I think, something else on to, to like an aqua. That's what he's going to do with this. Okay, oh yeah, because what so, we also found in here is, and you can see just by looking at it, it's um, mouldy, mouldy, mouldy. So what did you say caused all this? He says it was the, um, when they built the shower, yeah. The original builders, they have um, done the walls first. Right. They built the walls first and then they did the shower floor. Yeah. So it goes like that. Yeah. And so all the water goes gradually over time, goes through. Right. Over. He says you should always build your shower floor first and then put the wall on top. Okay, to make a good seal. To make it, so it, it won't leak water that way. But there was water, right? There was mold all the way around here as well um yeah so what is he doing with that treating that as well the same so he's sprayed it with the yeah. bleach again yeah and um and everything and he's also we've, when we opened it up and took the the um what you call it insulation out yeah that was full of ants oh was it i mean absolutely they were running up the walls it was full wow so i gave him two cans of ant spray yeah and he's been, he sprayed it all up to here. You can just about see where it was in here, look. Right, oh yeah. It's just full of ants, all the way along. Wow. And I'm guessing that's probably because of the mold. Right. Um, because we don't really normally have problems with ants, do we? No, not in the house. No, so, but it was uh, all behind there. All the insulation was all moldy as well. So I think he's already told us we're gonna have to buy new insulation, yeah. which is yeah. going to cost us some more money. Yep. So what about the niche? Because she wanted a niche to put soap in or something there. Yeah, I did ask him and we were going to put it on that wall. Yeah. So we can put it on the outside wall. Okay, because he wasn't sure, was he? He wasn't sure until he opened it up, so I asked him and he said, yeah, I can do that. Um, he, he wasn't sure how big. Yeah, because on this like, wall, we want, yeah. the, we want the valve for the shower to go yeah. here. So when you come in and turn it on, you don't get wet. Yeah. And also this, that power socket is going to have to come on this side as well somewhere, isn't it? 
for as long plug. as it'll work there. Yeah, yeah, it's going to have to come on here for above the vanity for putting our um, mm -hmm. toothbrushes and things in. So yeah, that makes sense because then we can have that at a certain height. We can have the valve there and the niche here. And how big is it going to be? Um, I just wanted it like originally like twelve inches, yeah. so you can get the big bottles in. Yeah. So it's not going to be very deep. Um, obviously, it's only going to be the four inches or whatever the wood is. Um, and I'm like, well, could you not make it like a double one and put like a, a shelf in? Ooh, good idea. Yeah. So he's, uh, he went, oh, okay, yeah, maybe. So he's got to go, but he's going back to Lowe's now because apparently they do like a plastic insert okay. that you put in and then you can tile over it. Oh. So, um, good job. That should be, uh, so I, I said, whichever works, you do it. And what about this? Because this was you're going to have this at an angle before, like the other one. Yeah. But this is not an angle. This is not an angle. We, we talked about it, and he says if you put it at an angle, yeah. like it was, the price is going to be more than double for the glass. Okay, because we're having like be a frameless shower, now. Yeah, we? it's going to be extortionate. Right. So, um, we did it at right angles. We did it at an angle, you know, just a ninety degree angle. To make it cheaper to make in the it long run. And I think we'll still be able to get into the bath and I still think it'll be okay. Yeah, we have to move the drain for the bath. We're going to have to here. move that because the drain for the bath now is going to be in the middle. Yeah. So he's going to have to put that there. Yeah. Um, this is the water that comes in for right. the bath. Right. So I don't know what he's going to do with them. But yeah. And then we get to the big one, which was um, here, which you saw in the thumbnail. So we knew this window has been leaking. That's why we got it replaced with a new one. Yeah. But this here, the white bit, that's the stucco on the outside of the house. So there's nothing between here. This is this is all completely rotten away. You can pick it up. And this is rotten. This is kind of, has been digging it out here. Yeah. And that's rotten. Is this tends to be this area? Once you get over here, this is solid. So it's kind of this bit under here, and these two bits and these two bits of wood again. So the plan here, I think, is to remove and repair. Remove it. He can't. He can't remove this one. Yeah. Because it will affect the window. Right. So what he's going to do is he's been digging, as you can see. Yeah. It's not completely rotted. Yeah. So what he's going to do is going to get another piece of wood. Yeah. And glue it all. Right. Put it up, and then um, it should be strong enough. Right. But he's going to replace the bottom one. Yeah. So you never know, do you? Well, we well, knew, we, we knew, we knew that was the one thing we knew we'd have a problem with. We thought. We knew. Because because that was leaking with that window quite badly. Mm -hmm. Whenever it, only when the rain came from that direction. In fact, yeah. we had him come out and reseal it once, didn't we? It didn't work. It didn't work. But that's that was a surprise. Not going to fall down the floor, don't we? Yeah. That was a surprise, and um, obviously over there was a surprise as well. Yeah. But this is end of day one. And this is what you get when you do renovations. Surprises. Surprise. Yeah. So, um. You've got big chunks out of the wall where the mirrors Oh, yeah, that's where the mirrors were glued on. But this will come off, and then the wire, the electrician will put wiring down here because it'll have to be wired in the back of the mirror. Yeah. But was he happy with everything then when he left? I think so, yeah. Because it's now, they started at what, at 9 o'clock this morning? It's been 9 to 5. Yeah. European hours. Yeah. Not slacking off at three. Yeah. <laughs> and this, uh, the dumpster outside is full as well. Yeah. So um, we're, uh, we'll show you that in a later on. In this one. So stay tuned. Tomorrow the electrician comes and join us on day two. And we will show you the progress there. And we will catch you shortly. Hey, up. it is day two, isn't it? Day two. End of day two. It's now quarter past five. I just finished my calls. Yeah. You had a good day? Yeah, it's been a bit less, crazy. Less stressful than yesterday, and Slightly not? less stressful. Yeah, slightly. I see we've got all um, grout and stuff here and mixing bowls and stuff in the garage. And uh, the rest of the, um, I think all the bathroom now is in here, isn't yeah. it? There you go. So they look like they filled the dumpster so far, haven't they? Yeah, I can't see over the top, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll take did, it, away did, it, did it, did it, did it. Right, let's go upstairs, see what they've done today. <laughs> So nothing much has changed in here. I've got some tile up here now though. Yep. And light bulbs. I think Alex brought that up yesterday. There's a door. Yeah. That's our new door. New door, is it? Yeah, because Julian bought it for us. He's going to paint it for us. Um, yeah, we told him the door had a hole in it yesterday. And um, so we're trying to figure out how to fix it, weren't we? Because it's yeah. only a small hole, but... Yeah. But um, he went and... It, and he bought... Because he said if you change the door, you've got to change the frame. Yeah. 
and that would be extra cost wouldn't it yep but he came back with it today and said i bought it for you no 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 cost well that's good good yeah. very good of it yeah very good of him because we didn't that's part of the thing so we're going to see what they've done in the bathroom um straight away i'm seeing i think they've got one more light to do but three of oh they put the light up there yep the light is up there those were two original that's one's going to be changed yet yeah he's going to put the led one in new light in here that's where the old fan was and now we have a new fan i don't know if it works should we try it he said it might oh it does yeah that's good and these i had to get i had to get a bigger fan because this space is big and i had one here and one here so this was a like 120 cubic feet extraction fan to take the air out but they had to cut a bigger hole as you can see yeah i tried to get one as close as i could to the other one but you just couldn't get that smaller form factor and have more extraction on it mm -hmm. we might even want those sort of other bathroom i don't know how that other one's working mm, the smaller bathroom that great yeah what else what else is done the shower pan oh yeah well there's drywall all around here as well isn't there and oh. done all the back. yeah i'm oh, sorry you said the electrician's been i yeah. should have said that so we've got the sockets in here to go for the back of the mirror yep and we got one on taking the vanity light things on. here to ready to go on the back of the mirror uh, drywall's all out that's the socket that's going to go above the vanity and um, we've got flooring down all the way across and that was there before that was the old stuff wasn't it yeah then we got the he's got the the, the what do you call it board? board the cement board up um and around here is all framed in yeah we have the shower base already plastered in to dry and the drain. And the drain. Uh, he's replaced all the wood that was rotten around the back of here. You can just see some of it sticking out. And then he's bought all new insulation today to replace the stuff that was full of mold on. He's put the things in for your shower. For the niche. For the niche, how big it's gonna be. Yep. So it get might some be bigger uh, than that yet. Might be. Yeah. He's still looking, is he? No, we've we've just organized it now. Oh. He's just sent me a picture and said this one I'll, yes that'll do and it's a double one. Alright. So, but Maybe it, bigger. Yeah, so it's a double. It's got a shelf in the middle. Any more ants today? Do you know? No more ants. I okay. asked him. He said no. I bleached them, <laughs> bleached them, and um, sprayed them. So I haven't seen any more ants today. So they made quite so, a bit of progress, haven't they? Yeah. Did you get shouted upstairs for anything? A few times. Yeah. yeah. A few times. Maxine. The electrician as well wanted to know whether this wanted to be in line with that or over here a bit more like no. no no put it in line yeah you was a bit afraid it might be near the duct too near the door it looks like a different color like it looks more yellow um probably could be reflecting off this probably he says that they are like five different lumens or whatever you can change the, oh, brightness, the brightness on we need to change that to a dimmer switch then if we do that i don't know i don't know he said and yeah so the toilet hasn't really changed but yeah they've made a end of day two so uh one more thing okay one more thing here we go what well, one more thing you know, Julian does not like um, all this because he um, what? he can't match the pattern to the ceiling. Oh yeah. They don't like it. Okay. So his plan yes. is to skim all the ceiling. All oh, right, which wasn't in the original no. quote. Um, so it's basically you'll lose like ninety percent of the texture. I'm like, I'm good with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really good with that. Yeah, I'd pay for that to get it all yeah. done and make it so, look good. So. Um, He's, oh no, he's not charging us. Oh, is he not? No, I don't think he said he's going to charge us for that. Oh. So, <laughs> so, yeah. This is the difference. If you're working with a smaller company like this or individual, there's more flexibility. Mm -hmm. The downside is, like the big companies, you write a contract and it's down to every little penciled item yeah. and it gets done. I mean, we got in um, trouble with the vanity where they charged us for bringing the vanity upstairs because it wasn't listed. Mm -hmm. And here they'll throw things in, but then. There's other things that maybe aren't defined as well yeah. that you end up paying a bit more money for. Like yeah. I think we'll pay more for the wiring because even though we told them we wanted to do this on here, yeah. they didn't. Uh, or I didn't factor it in the wiring time. So you win some, you lose some, but at the end I think you'll, you'll and end also, up um, coming up. Okay. He's okay. gonna buy like the. Sills. Well, we're missing this thing. The sills. The sills for this. So he's yeah. at now buying them. Okay. No, I've just had to measure them for him okay. because he forgot to take the measurements. So. Yeah, we'll pay for those. So those yeah, having it seven hundred. Because uh, he needs two, it's not quite enough for one, yeah, yeah. one length. Yeah. So I think it's 150 bucks. Okay, we'll, we'll pay for that. Yeah. So, so we are making that. progress. The end of day two is looking good and it should be a bit warmer here now. We have some insulation and it's not through to the yeah through to the dry water, due to the yeah, plaster. The, um, the, what you call it should be here tomorrow, the plumber. Yeah. He's coming tomorrow and the electrician is coming back 
to hopefully do that other light. Finish that light tomorrow finish and finish it. Depends so on if, if that's, that's dry and you can get over it. Yeah, yeah, I can't get over it. Julian's like, don't touch it. And the other thing is, we didn't think about yesterday earlier in the vlog when we were talking about the, this being a bit longer, it will cut it. We were, we were expecting the bath to be able to come in here. So we're just going to have to jiggle that around a bit, aren't it we? It will fit. Will it? Yeah. Yeah. And it'll still fit. Yeah. But it'll just be very close. Yeah, to the shower. Yeah. And then he will put us in contact with somebody, another company to come and put the uh, the shower frame, the shower in at a cheaper price because we put a square one in. Mm -hmm. So there we go, end of day two. Um, we're happy. Yeah. A few ups and downs and things as always, yeah. but uh, making progress and um, you may be ready to tile this week even. Oh yeah, it's, it's he said he's going to do it on, on uh, Thursday. Thursday? Well, definitely the shower on. Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Finish the shower first, and I, mean, I think he's put the walls in, like he said. He put he's the, put the base in on first. On top of the floor. On top of the floor. Yeah, it. and put the walls down on top of it, as we said it wasn't done yesterday. But yeah, so. he's put all the membrane behind it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. Has he put the has he put the thing in here for the? Oh, the valve will go in here somewhere, I guess. You and the electrician will kind of work it and need to work together yeah. for the valve. So yeah, stay tuned, um, and we'll give you another update um, later on this week. Mm -hmm. See you in a bit. We're back. Day three is done. Day three is done. I know, um, I thought it might be boring by showing every day, but they're making so much progress so quickly. So I think it's worth uh, just sharing with you. So today is the third full day. Uh, they all turned up again at nine o'clock this morning. We had the plumbers, we had the electrician, and we've had a contractor here. So let's walk you through um, what's happened today. And there's quite a bit happened today. So the electrician put the uh, final lighting that was missing. And he also um, put in the um, sockets mounted and the socket for the light. That's for the vanity plug-in and those are for the lights. They were finished off. So the electrician is all done, isn't he? Yeah. He's is all paid off and done. Yep. Finished his job um, from that perspective. Mm -hmm. We also had the plumbers in and they have roughed in. They've been working all day. All day. The water's been off all day. They've roughed in for the where one vanity is going to go here. Uh, they have roughed in for the um, tap. That's a tap for the bath, isn't yep. it? And you, you, they tested the bath, didn't they? Yeah, they put it in and just wiggled it around so we could get the right angle and angle. Angle and angle. Yep. Um, so and they were happy with it. So all is good. They've also yeah. roughed in over here. And also, you notice they've drywalled everything as well. So they've roughed in, in here for the other vanity, my vanity, as well. I should have mentioned that. So all the, oh, the plumbing now, they won't do anything else on the plumbing until the tile is down on the floor. No. Uh, and then they'll come back and do that and they change that valve outside. But probably the shower is the thing that's had the biggest transformation yeah. today and it didn't get as far as it wanted because the plumbers were here okay. doing their stuff. So when we look in here, in the shower, um, the valve is on. And this is the valve that we ordered, the kit that we ordered. We've also got the pipe work in, the pipe work around. He did talk about, this one is for the hand shower and this one is for the overhead shower. And he did talk about, um, Having them not underneath each other. Yeah. Yeah, so they were slightly different. Those would be the hangers into the in coming through the wall. Oh, into yeah. the closet. Yeah. In there. So the closet is behind there. So they've done all the pipe work and everything is in. They've also put Maxine's um, niche in. He went out and he was messaging us what at like six o'clock, five yeah. or six o'clock last night, which one you wanted. Yep. So this is what we talked about that he will be tiling over. And you, you, that shelf, you've actually um, chested you can, it with the bottles, haven't you, to make sure yeah, it fits Yeah, you can okay. move it up and down. Yeah. So it's glued in place now, but yeah. you figure it out. Me being me, when he came in and showed it me, he said, can we have it an inch to the left? Because <laughs> um, I think he's getting my humour after a while. Yeah, and all this is drywalled in, but the big thing is... The floor. The floor. That tile we got, he, he, he would have uh, done... He's also bought the tile to go on here, but he didn't get time to do that done today. But everybody's been going, wow, about this thing. We said this when we bought it, if you watch the vlog. When you go down here, it kind of looks 3D. And um, everybody's been like wowing on that today, haven't they? They have. All the contractors are like, I love that. Yeah, it does look a bit, if, you, if, you've, been drink, if you've been drinking a bit, it does look a bit... Yeah, we, we don't want it all don't over. Don't move quickly. Yeah, we don't <laughs> want it all over. And that will also go on the back of the niche as an accent tile as well. Yeah. Um, so next job tomorrow is, he's probably going to start on tiling the floor, is he? Uh, yeah, he's going to... Um, do the rest of the floors, I think. Well, yeah, he's yeah, going to take this, this wood out and he's going to put the, this rock sheet down, the waterproof one, yeah. around there. 
and then tile starts. Yeah. Which will be probably tomorrow. I, I bet the way has been cracking on. They've also just put these in. I just noticed to, to put these. Oh, to support the bath. Yeah. Extra extra strength. Well, I think it's because there's a hole here. It's going to fix this and fill in the hole. I think. Oh yeah, you're right. That's a support for putting it just, in. Yeah, yeah, I think that's. Because he's done the same up here. If you look up here in the roof, um, he's put a, a yeah. beam in there. And then what they're going to do is, as he says, he's going to skim all this at his cost. Um, because he, he says he wouldn't, it, you'd be able to see this bit, so that'll be all skimmed. And again, there's a door frame that he put in free for us as well. So, yeah, um, quite a transformation. Yeah, it's going for, quick for day three. Yeah. And even some of the neighbors have commented they wanted to know who these people were because um, they were seem to be putting a lot of hours in. They've all, they've not, they don't stop for lunch, they're yeah. here at nine and they work till four or five and they're gone and they just work through yeah. every day. So, really hard workers and really care about the quality of the work they do. So, stay tuned. And we'll, um, <laughs> this thing's going pretty quick. Uh, we'll give you uh, the next update. Right, so it's the end of day four. And yeah, we have tile. So there you go. Um, he grouted inside the shower pan this morning. You see the tile is on the top around the edge now. He's laid all the floor tile down. Tomorrow come and grout. And then the tile will start going up the wall vertically following the pattern. And uh, yeah, looking at this, so look at the tile down here. It won't be too long before this looks like this. It's done. You feel like summer days to me Warm, tender, sunny rays I hope that we are meant to be You say Yet somehow I know your history Oh, come what may, I'm ready Picture frames, lavender pain They all live here Within this romance I get the chance to stop So yes, it's, it's now five, six, seven days, seven working days since the last time we filmed, or filmed this. And the bathroom is done, well, almost done. We'll talk about 90, almost done. 99% done. Percent done. So the vanities are in and plumbed. The mirror is in, that's Maxine's because it's pink. You can change the colors on the um, mirror. You can also dim the brightness of this thing and you can heat the heated as well, aren't they? Yes, yeah, so defogger. Defogger, that's the right word, a defogger. Bath is in with its um, tap. We were missing a screw from this, so we had to get a second set from Amazon. But that is in, it's just got weight in it now because it's been sealed. Shower is all done and tiled, apart from two things we'll talk about. Vanity is in, blue one is mine. Again, similar type of mirror. And La Toilette is in. La Toilette. What do you think? Nice, isn't it? Yeah, oh, and the other, the pot lights are in. I think we showed you that before, the fan is in. But yeah, it's the plumbers came today to finish off all the um, yeah. plumbing side of things. Uh, contract to finish last Friday mm -hmm. to get stuff done. So we'll talk about a couple of issues that we had Big and issues. still have. Big issues. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. And also tomorrow, the only thing we're really missing is the frameless shower. And they won't come and give you a measure up for this or give you a price until the tiling's done. Yeah. So I've contacted three companies, only one's responded and they're coming tomorrow so far to measure up and give us an estimate. I think it'd be a couple of thousand bucks yeah. for a frameless shower to go in here. So we can't use it yet until that is done. A couple of issues we had then. Number one, the mirrors. They're not the mirrors we ordered, are they, Max? They are not the first mirrors we ordered. And where did you order those from, Max? Guess where? Yeah, guess where? Comments in below. Yeah. Yeah, you were right. Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah, you saw the vlog, I put a link into that where Maxine was blowing a fuse. What happened, Max? They just didn't turn up, did they? How well? Well, they... No, let's go back a bit. Go back weeks. Weeks. Three weeks I ordered them. And they get kept getting pushed back and pushed back another day, another two days before they arrive. Um, so yeah, I was a bit on edge about that. And then I finally got uh, like a delivery date. And they said it was going to be the Friday, which would have been the last day the contractor was here. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, we can come back on Monday. However, about mm, the day before, was it about the day before? 
I got a message saying one had been damaged. One was still coming, one was damaged, and we still didn't know whether they were going to deliver it or not. Mm -hmm. So um, we waited till Friday. Well, you took a plan B, didn't you, as well? I took it to a plan B because I just had a gut feeling, and you should always go with your gut feeling. Um, and I ordered some, I went for the same size, mm -hmm. um, the same like things on it, um, and then uh, ordered it from Amazon, and they were here within two days. Mm -hmm. These, these before ones. the pro left, before the contractor left. Before the contractor left. Yep. Anyway, on Friday, um, the uh, delivery man came from UPS and he must have been on the truck for at least a good 10 minutes. Yep, looking, yep. I could hear him ruffling through everything and, uh, and everything. Um, so he finally comes to the door with one mirror. So I said, is there one or is there two? He says, there's only one. He says, I've been looking for 10 minutes. I said, I said well, it was class just damaged. He went, well, that's why they didn't put it on the truck then. I'm like, well, one's no, we one's need two. no good to me. Yeah. So he went, no, it's not, is it? I said, he said, did you need to? I said, that's why I ordered two. So uh, I said, right, I don't want it, take it back. So he said, okay. So I just rejected it and sent it back and they would ship it back to the people that yep. sent it. So, but yeah, and then I got a phone call, two phone calls actually, one the day before from Home Depot. They were very good actually, um, saying, we can see off your order that you've got all these problems, blah, 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 blah. Um, I will give you a ring tomorrow, see if it comes, because they didn't even know whether it was going to come or not. And then um, she did ring me up the day after when mm -hmm. I'd rejected them. And she said, I can see that you've rejected them. We will class them both as returns, even though you've only got one. Uh, I'll give you a full refund, which should go back on your, um, into your bank account within oh, three to five business days or whatever it is. Um, and. For your inconvenience, I'm going to send you an email with a hundred dollars gift card on it. I was like, yeah, 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 okay, whatever. It's because by this time I was. You give up with it. I, I'd, I'd, I'd given up. I'm like, okay, whatever. So um, anyway, within about five minutes, I had a, a gift card with a hundred dollars on in my email. So that was pretty good. And just to be clear, we did order these before we had. Well, just around the time we're having all the problems with the deliveries, but we didn't yeah. order these after we said we'd never use Home yeah, Depot again. Yeah, we already done it. Because it was well, weeks ago, this was like three, like three weeks ago. Three, four weeks ago. Yeah. But yeah, they were So have you worked out all right, didn't it, in the end? Yeah, in fact, in fact I think these are nicer because yeah. you can change the colour on them. Yeah, you couldn't, the other, you couldn't change the colour with the others, yeah. which is back lit and front lit. Yeah. Uh, all the same colour. So. About the same price as well, weren't they? Yeah, they were roughly yeah, probably same the price. same price. So we got those, um, as I say, we replaced the screw on this, we're going to send the other one back to Amazon that um, wasn't any good. Now, let's talk about the big problem, I and mean, that was only discovered today. So in the shower here, you have the head, in the, seat, in the roof you have the hand shower, and you have this, and do you notice there's something missing from there? Yeah. What's missing is this. Well, why is it not on, Barry? Well, it doesn't fit, and there's a reason for that. When we bought this valve, I think we taught you we bought a spare one, a backup, because in case the valve seal goes, you can, you know, in three or four years time, we can just change them. The valve seal means these things would drip. drip. Um, so we changed it out. So we got an identical unit um, off eBay, same part number and everything. But when you put this plate on, it doesn't fit. It's out by about, two, by about three millimeters out on the holes here. They just don't line up. Now, the problem with that is, um, they fit on the other one, so the one, the one that came with this is the spare. This one is not is now in the wall. It's tiled in, it's plumbed in, and this doesn't fit. And it's you know it's not an off-the-shelf product. So I've been trying to get the manufacturer, see if I can get one. I've been looking on eBay, I can't get one. We have a couple of plans. Um, I've got another kit coming tomorrow from Amazon. Hopefully, it's the newer because obviously they changed the design. Hopefully, it's the newer kit with the bigger one that fits and I can send the other stuff back. If not, I just have to send the whole thing back. Or we have the nuclear option, which is the only thing we can think of if it really doesn't, we've got to take it out, is to cut through this drywall at the back and get to the valve from the back, replace it with the one that fits this plate, and then, you know, put all this back together, seal it all up again, paint it again, texture it again, it's a pain, but I'd rather do that than have to break the tile because the valves are all piped in. Because, uh, you know, the sides here at the back, you can't get to them. You can't get to them. So, um, lesson learned, if you get two things, 
which is allegedly the same on one plate, make sure you try it on both units before you put them in. Otherwise, you could end up in the same problems we've got. And so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Stay tuned. We'll give you an update on how it goes. So um, thanks for sticking with us over the last three weeks you've been watching this vlog, really, mm. since we started working on the bathroom. But I think it's a big transformation mm. in three weeks, and we are extremely happy with it. This is the last big thing to do before we get on to paint and carpeting, and they're coming um, soon to give us quotes for all that. So thank you very much. Appreciate each and every one of you. So it's echoey, but um, we're in the bathroom. <laughs> so um, if you like what we do, please like and subscribe. Put your comments below. And what will we do, Max? See you later. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.